was a crazy day for Google as they had hosted their I.O. conference, which is something where they push out new products and innovations. Now, during that conference, they released this new model called Astra, which is an advanced seeing and speaking responsive agent. It's a video that I already published, so I definitely recommend that you take a look at it. It's Google's push to build a future of AI assistants. Now, another major release Google had was where they mentioned the release of their new generative video model. And this is a direct competitor to OpenAI's Sora model. This is where I would like to introduce Vio. This is Google's most capable generative video model. And it's something that's able to create high quality 1080p clips that can go beyond 60 seconds. Just take a look at these demo clips. The prompt that was given to generate this video clip was that many spotted jellyfish pulsating underwater. Their bodies are transparent and glowing in deep ocean. For this clip, the prompt was given time lapse of a water lily opening dark background. And you can see that this is just an amazing generation of a 1080 clip of this new lily opening up. The prompt for this clip was a lone cowboy rides his horse across an open plain at beautiful sunset, soft, light, warm colors. This is quite remarkable and this is just amazing to see. Vio is definitely an advanced video generation model that's been developed by Google and it's capable of producing high quality resolution videos. And this is in various cinematic styles. It surpasses the traditional one minute limit and excels in understanding natural language as well as visual semantics. So this will basically allow for it to accurately insert user prompts and render detailed footage like we saw previously. And this is where the footage is going to be able to align with your own creative vision. Now, one thing that I want to point out is that Vio is going to be able to provide you with unprecedented creative control. So this means that you're going to be able to comprehend cinematic terms and ensure that there's going to be coherence and realism in the generated footage. So this is something that is quite unique to see. And this is a great approach as to how they develop this model. Now, there's a, not a lot more information about this. But I want you to take a look at this video, which will explain and go over how this filmmaker is able to use Vio and help for his movie. Well, I've been interested in AI for a couple of years now. We got in contact with some of the people at Google and they had been working on something of their own. So we're all meeting here at Google Farms to make a short film. The core technology is Google DeepMind's generative video model that has been trained to convert input text into output video. <laughs> it looks good. We are able to bring ideas to life that were otherwise not possible. We can visualize things on a time scale that's 10 or 100 times faster than before. When you're shooting, you can't really iterate as much as you wish. And so we, we've been hearing that feedback is that it allows for like more, more optionality, more iteration, more improvisation. But that's what's cool about it. It's like you can make a mistake faster. That's all you really want at the end of the day. At least in art, it's just to make mistakes fast. So using Gemini's multimodal capabilities to optimize the model training process, VO is able to better capture the nuance from prompts. So this includes cinematic techniques and visual effects, giving you total creative control. Everybody's going to become a director, and everybody should be a director. Because at the heart of all of this is just storytelling. The closer we are to being able to tell each other our stories, the more we'll understand each other. These models are really enabling us to be more creative and to share that creativity with each other. Now guys, if you are interested in trying VO, you can definitely do so. And this is where you can sign up to try video FX. You can click on this button. It'll take you over to the AI test kitchen, which is a way for you to assign and basically get access to different wait lists for AI projects that Google provides. So what you can do is click on join our wait list. Once you have done that, you can then go over to their docs page where you just need to simply put in your basic information, such as your name, last name, email, where you found us, country, age, and what you're going to be doing with this. And this way, you're going to be able to gain access by getting a re email back from Google DeepMind. And this will be something where they will basically say how you can access the model. This will take approximately a week, a couple of days, or even a couple of months, depending on 
who they're basically giving access to now something cool to note is that this is actually going to be coming to youtube shorts which is going to be quite interesting as to what you can actually do with this but to simply put what this whole model is built upon it is basically drawing upon various generative ai models such as generative query network you have dvd gan you have image generation video and so many others you also have google's transformer architecture as well as gemini and basically to make video better at understanding the following prompts prompts they basically enhance the details of the captions of each video that it learns from so this will basically use high quality compressed representations and this is where it will be able to make the videos more efficient and it will improve to boost the overall quality of the generative videos so this is like the basic flow as to how it works through the different coders as well as based off the different transformers that it's built upon now in my opinion this is definitely an amazing capable generative video model and it's basically an alternative to sora which is open ai's video generation model i definitely see that both of these models are amazing there is going to be a lot of tests which will showcase the capabilities of both in the coming months so definitely stay tuned on that but in my opinion both of these models are on par with each other in terms of the generation and I am definitely interested to see what we're going to be able to do with VO. And this is once I get access to the rate list. And once I do, I'll definitely be making more videos. But with that thought, guys, I hope you enjoyed today's video and you got some sort of value as to what you can do with this new generative AI video model. But with that thought, guys, make sure you follow me on Patreon. This is a great way for you to access different subscriptions completely for free. Make sure you follow me on Twitter. Great way for you to understand and gain access to different ai news right away and lastly make sure you guys subscribe turn on the notification bell like this video and check out our previous videos so you can stay up to date with the latest ai news with that thought guys thank you guys so much for watching have an amazing day spread positivity and i'll see you guys really shortly peace out fellas